Hold stadium. On. Give me, yeah. Wait, yep. did I say Smash? Well, yeah, I definitely meant My yeah. bad. Yeah, Stadium. Yeah. So we have Carnage Gaming, Sweet Tea, and who's the Apodongo sponsor, SNB? No idea. I've never read what his sponsor was. All I know is it's SNB. It's probably some Japanese uh, organization. Opting to go for the, the Peach Trainer versus the Palutena this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do think Palutena is a really good pick against Pokemon Trainer. I think Palutena does really well against Ivysaur and Charizard, and then she kind of struggles against uh, Squirtle just because he's a small character, but like Squirtle dies quickly. And then once you get to that high percent, you can just switch, you switch over to uh, Ivysaur. Or yeah, Squirtle. Ivysaur. And then they, Palutena has a really good uh, way of dealing with Ivysaur. Right. And like a lot of Pokemon Trainer, not a lot, but like you hear Leffen say, like, you have a good matchup against Pokemon Trainer if you have a decent matchup against Ivysaur. Because if you can deal with that, then you could just find a way to deal with the other two. And right, right now, we already see 50% on uh, on Sweet Tea. And he's got him on the edge. Oh, Back my here, God. I, yeah, you're going to need to switch immediately. Yep. Flare Blitz. Oh, I like that counter to just add on extra damage. But Yeah, fun fact about the countering uh, his Flare Blitz is that the first hit doesn't do, like, the big knockback. It's just, like, that first hit. The second is where the big knockback comes out. So when you do a counter, it doesn't really kill. Oh, my God. That's unfortunate. So you and really just want to, like, wait till he hits on the uh, ledge and then just run off and, like, hit him with a downer or something. Yeah. And you see Sweet Tea just struggling to find his momentum at this point. You know, he's at 145 while Palutena is only at 36. 30, yeah. Yeah. He had a hell of a first, like, 150%. He was just dominating him. All right. But, you know, it is Ivysaur. Ivysaur neutral, not that great. Really lackluster because he doesn't have any out of shield moves, so you can just space. You can really just throw arrows in his face and he can't do anything about it. But once Ivysaur gets that hit, that's yeah. when he becomes a nuisance. So you really have to bet, like, am I going to get that lucky break of hitting the neutral hit that I need, and right. then I'll be able to get my damage. At least his Razor Leaf is, like, one of the best projectiles in the game. Yeah, once you get that short hop, like, Razor Leaf hit downward, you can get that up here, that upbeat, just yeah. disgusting things. But Palutena oh. could just up throw, yeah. yeah. Palutena has a good, like, time dealing with Razor Leaf just because she has a reflector and she could just parry it or just go over with back or dash attack. Yep. And Sweet Tea opting to just get out of Charizard. Like, that is not a good matchup for Charizard <laughs> at all. Yeah, just get thrown around. So like, switch. I'm at zero. Like, I'm not trying to eat, like, 80%. Oh, gets that jab lock, F smash. Missing the tech there, Abadongo really going to be reeling back. And only 36% for how how much damage Abadongo did to Sweet Tea. Look how even this is. He's still only at 65%. All right. He definitely brought things back. I feel like he was lost that first, like, 60 seconds of the match. And then now he's just like, okay, I, I've, I've learned. I've learned. Mm -hmm. All right, down throw. Actually DIing in, but switching immediately to the to the Charizard. And I really don't think that, like, when you get down throw against Palutena, it's, like, great to really switch just because Palutena use, has those long lasting hitbox that can just get through it. All right. But it is a good idea to like try to get out of disadvantage. I mean, it'll get you out of one hit, but you're you're going to have to get you're going to probably going to get regrabbed or like up aired for doing it. Exactly. Already 90% on a uh, Abadongo Sweetie making this really even. Ooh, oh, lands, just he just lands into that. Uh, yeah, you saw him just like drifting away and then he threw it out and and then uh yeah, Sweetie just kind of let it happen. A right. quick Charizard down uh, S down back air. There back we go. Air, yeah. Had a <laughs> yeah. That back air is like one of those really weird moves where like it swings down and then up, and mm -hmm. so that entire like fire end of the tail is a sweet spot. So yeah, again, like you can kill people super it early. It hits so hard. Yeah, it hits hard, and for the tip of it, it actually has like a decent amount of range because it like it's not just a horizontal line. It kind of like goes up and down a little bit too. Yeah, like if you're Charizard and you're recovering with your back piece, and you do that double that triple jump. Uh, Back air, and then it'll just hit through the stage. You're like, where, where the hell did that come from? Right. So, still good stuff to uh, Sweet Tea taking that stock. You know, hit him with the one charge of back air, and you know what? It's bye bye uh, for you. Yep. 80%. I'm really surprised that the Squirtle is staying. Sweet Tea again must be a little bit confident. Must be confident in his Squirtle. 70%. Right. That is when you really want to get that down throw up B yep. with Ivysaur. Ooh, super risky with that forward smash. And yet again, going in with the Razor Leaves. Ooh, gets, gets a parry, but. Not going to hold shield again. Oh. Not going to be able to take another one of those. You can tell Palutena. You can tell Sweet Tea's a little bit nervous just because Palutena's in the air and you know that she has the juggles to kill you. All right. Oh, finds a down throw. Oh, oh. opting to go for a fourth throw instead. Yeah, just cash now for the damage. Yeah, just going away. I don't really want to get hit by that stupid uh, whip. Yep. Is oh. that going to be it? Yeah, I just off him the top, off. yeah. He probably DI'd in to avoid dying off of the side, but mm -hmm. unfortunately. Really? Yeah, I'm really surprised that he didn't just opt to go for the up air, but I think the, the nair was good just because it does a little bit more shield damage and it's uh, more prone to shield poking. Yep. And even if he had gone for the up air, I feel like he might have read, like, oh, maybe he's going to switch Pokemon. 
instead. And if I go for the up air, it'll be over by the time. I won't be able to punish it. Mm -hmm. So their, really, their lasting just a little bit longer was probably the better option. Yeah, I'm really curious if Sweet T's going to switch over to the uh, to the Pichu. I think the Pichu versus Palutena, not a, not a great match at all. Right. I mean, nope. Pokemon Trainer did really well. No. Yeah, that's true. For how much damage Abadango did to Sweet Tea, Sweet Tea was just always bringing it back, always keeping right. it at that last hit situation. I mean, I feel like Sweet Tea was always at like 150%, but the converse of that is that he was only dying at like 150%. You know? uh -huh. So game two, we're going to be going over to FD. I see Sweet Tea when he goes to FD, he likes to go to the Suzaka Castle a lot. Yeah. I mean, it definitely shows that like, one of his favorite characters to play in Smash War was Ryu, so I feel like Suzaku Castle is like a very much a comfort pick for him. Mm -hmm. And you see Sweet Tea off to go for the air dodge up instead of going for the Pokemon Switch because he's like, I don't want to get juggled again. Right. Ooh. A waterfall right through the ledge gets you a bit of damage. All right. Ooh, quick dash attack and not going to be able to find a back air. Uh, parries the back air, but F tilt, not enough range to actually get a good punish on Palutena. And the way that uh, Abadango plays Palutena, he plays like. He'll put it on the aggression, and then once he gets you at a percent, he'll just opt to just play really patient, just camp you out, make you approach him. All right. And oh, again, spotting out that air dodge. Yep. Goes in the Ivysaur. Unfortunately, gets hit by the Nair just as he was trying to get off from ledge and manages to sneak back in. Oh, Ooh. just powering through the... Ivy Nair with the back air again, Invincible with the shield, such a good option to try to stuff out people who are trying to be a little too aggressive. All right. Falling Nair into jab, not really a truth confirm. Right. Ooh, Ooh. Great parry, but only gets a Nair out of shield. Would have liked to maybe see a grab, go for the down throw, up E. Manages to find that spot dodge into the up air, and then here's the edge guard. The trap. Not being able to quite kill right there. Oh, manages to sneak in that bind whip again. Whipped him so hard, the. A little board broke too, but finally getting that Nair. Right. Sweet Tea going to Charizard right now. I wonder if he's going to stay, if he's going to try to stick with it. Probably going to go for that hard reading. If he gets juggled too hard, he's going to, yep, switch yep. to the Squirtle. But we're not done with these uh, edge guards. Paul Chain has spin to win. Look at these Nairs. Yep. Oh, he wanted, to, he wanted to end him right there. All right. But sneaks in and up there. Will he get the edge guard? No, he won't. <laughs> no, oh, I big. lied. He does get it. Yeah, getting that up. While, uh, while teleports are really hard, not really, but are difficult to edge guard. It's still not impossible to do it. Right. Sweet Tea proving it right there with that down air. I mean, the thing about teleports is that you don't want to edge guard them. You want to uh, two frame them on the land. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Which I heard like teleports are easier to two frame. I think it's like closer to like five or six frames that you have to punish them. I'm really not sure about that. I did hear something about that, but I'm not sure how true that is. I haven't like done my own research. Right. But if that's that would be a balanced way of like dealing with teleports. Right. Abaddon getting that back here, only 40% yeah. on him. Oh, he yeah. saw the Nair come out. No, give me get the Charizard away from me. I don't need to take unnecessary percent. Yeah. Ooh, landing with his own Nair, and then yet again, Ivysaur is kind of spinning the wind himself, and he tried to do what Wishes did to MK Lail, the Nair to Upbe. Yeah, I, I love that just because like. A lot of Ivysaurs knew about it for a long time, but we never actually saw anyone utilize it in the tournament. He's like, you know what? No better time. All right. Oh, reads the neutral get up with the grab, but just barely going to miss. Ooh, goes in for the withdraw, but not going to be able to quite find its mark. Right now, no. Abdanga just spacing out with the backers. I don't want really want you to touch me. All right. Ooh, parries it, but unfortunately, it's a multi hit, so you can't just parry the one hit. Abadongo's playing so safe right now. He knows. Oh, oh missing the tech again. All right. But Sweet Tea not really going over for the aggression. He just kind of let it go. Ooh. Reads the <laughs> switch with the up smash. All right. Abadongo's looking like he's ready to close this out again with the two stock. Down okay. throw. Down throw back air. Oh, no. Yeah, realized it probably wasn't going to be true, so he just opted to see what Sweet Tea was going to do about it. All right. Gets a jab. A lot of knockback. If he hit that on the edge, I'm pretty sure that would have killed. All right. Yet again, Sweet Tea is kind of struggling to find his way in, That's but that back throw. Yeah, back yep. throw going to kill. Yeah, Nair on shield, not really safe. Again, Ivysaur doesn't have those safe out of shield options, so you can really just pressure their shield.